Out of the Blue, proudly brought to you by Grant Burge Wines. Another surprise! Out of the blue. You want that surprise? Out of the blue. Come with me across the sea. Nothing but blue skies. Out of the blue. You want some chili with those fries? Out of the blue. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Out of the Blue. Today's program comes from the beautiful Barossa Valley, famous, of course, for its vines and wine. But today, we're going to explore some of the other produce from the valley. The Barossa Valley is a beautiful wine region only an hour from Adelaide. We're visiting this time in the winter when the vines are bare but the countryside is lush and green. We'll be visiting the famous Grant Burge Winery and also be exploring some of the other produce of the region. On today's show we're going to cook hamachi, otherwise known as a kingfish. We're going to do it in a traditional Malay curry. It's called ikambaka but I need my mate Mickey Keelan to go and do some work. I need some dry fruit for this recipe. There's something really magical about old grapevines, but over here I've got something very special to show you. We're in the Gully Gardens orchard, and uh, Rick's over here standing next to an ancient fruit tree. Rick, how are you going? Not bad, thanks, Michael. Hey, tell us about this old fruit tree. It is so beautiful. Look, Michael, these trees are just amazing. We're the third owners of this property, but there was the Giles family that would have probably originally planted all these trees here. And does this still produce? I mean, it certainly see does, Michael, buds yeah. Buds. So how do you care for a tree like this? Um, give it plenty of fertilizers, yeah. water, yeah. and just look at the signs, you know, what the tree sometimes telling us. Wow. You know, it's um, telling you, I want to be here for another 110 that's years. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Rick and Rosemary Starkey have these wonderful old fruit trees in their orchard near Angerston. As we're here in winter, the fruit has been harvested and the trees are enjoying a rest. Now from all that hard work out in the orchard during the summer months and the autumn, all the cutting and the drying, the fruit finishes up in here. Now Rick, what have you got in here? What, there's so many different products. I know, Michael, it's just unbelievable all the products that we actually have in here and you look around from the actual dried fruits itself that we actually grow, we're growing numerous fruits, apricots, peaches, plums, pears, nectarines, even apple. When the whole industry started to change and we couldn't see the viability of carrying on selling our fruit to a packer, so we then thought out of the square, let's build this little farm shop uh, on the side here mm -hmm. uh, of the shed and then we carried on, you know, bringing in, making different products and bringing in products. Now with all the different variations of the dried fruits that you, well the fruit that you grow then dry it, what would be seriously the most popular one? Oh, at the end of the day it'd have to be apricots, it's definitely right. apricots. Now coming up in the program, Michael is going to be cooking a fish curry with fruit and he asked me to pop in and pick some up. So I'm looking here at uh, apricots, I think apricots will take some of those. Pears, uh, no, but have a look at them. They really are sensational. Uh, prunes, now Michael may need prunes, but I don't think for the dish. We might leave those. So what have we got here? Peach, no. I tell you what, that looks pretty good. That's a fruit salad, dried fruit salad. So I think with the combination of the additional apricots and the dried fruit salad, this fish curry is going to be stunning. Hi there Rose, I see you've uh, got a little collection for Michael, yeah. so we sort of add those uh, up too. Lovely. Uh, we'll use those uh, later on. Hey, I've got all this fabulous gear and it's an absolute treasure this place. You must visit next time you come up to the Barossa Valley, particularly in Angerston area. Mickey, my mate, has been to Gully Gardens. Look at this fantastic selection of dry fruits that I'm going to use in my ikambaka. So after the break, we're going to show you how to make a fish curry.
Grant Burge wines are synonymous with the Barossa Valley. The Burge family winemaking traditions date back to 1855 when their ancestors arrived from England. The strength of the brand is in these vineyards, spread throughout the valley, delivering the best fruit from some of the oldest vines. Craig, how old are these vines here? They're about 40 years old at the moment, so they've, they've, yeah, they've got some nice maturity on them. You're a winemaker. What's your grasp on the, the theory that, you know, a good bottle of wine starts here in, in the paddock? Well, it's true. It is very true. You've got to get the vine structure right. The viticulturist has got to do his job and make, make sure everything's in balance until mm. harvest time comes along. You know, as a winemaker, you can't prove on what you've got. Yeah. You just guide it along the way and, and get the, the best potential out of those grapes. We've experienced some vintages where we've had really dry winters mm. and dry springs and the subsoil moisture is not there. So it's really critical to have that subsoil moisture. So that rainfall is, is beautiful. The Grant Birch wines have been recognised with many national and international awards. We have no trouble getting ripeness, so we have no trouble getting flavour. We're consistent. Pick up a bottle of Barossa Shiraz, you expect something rich and sweet and, and luscious and, and full of flavour, and you're going to get it. And I think that consistency has helped. Salamat Bagi. Salamat. And we're going to do ikambaka today, and we're going to do curried fish. Yes. And firstly, I've got a point of difference. I'm going to coat my fish in turmeric. Mm -hmm. no, no flour. No. no what no. you can do, I'll put the pan yeah. back on because we need sizzle. Yeah. What are you going to do with the fruit? The fruit. Wow. Well, I'm glad you asked me that. It's a very good question, actually. I just oh, got to think about like that. I know. Oh, I'm going to put it in the stock and give oh. it flavour and oh, texture. Oh, it'll be beautiful. Because you went to all that trouble I to did. get it. You did. You know what my favourite dried fruit is? No. I want to tell you. Prunes? Prunes? No, no. Actually, you know what? I love pears. <laughs> I love dried pears. Can you speak with your mouth for Pear? Pear, thank you. Now, I reckon about a minute either side, I want to get a bit of colour. Yeah. I'm, I don't want to overcook this because it's going to cook also in the stock. See, I'm getting oh, a bit of colour that. there. Okay. Now, look at that. That's beautiful. About another minute. Yep. They look stunning. Can I have the blue plate? Blue plate. See, we're true to the show. La blue. True blue. Here we are. Oh, look, look at that. that. Just enough, oh, that just to get amazing. colour, that's all. Mm. Okay, now, while it's happening, I need the onions, the garlic and the ginger. All right. You can put uh, them in. Onions. Um, and we've used brown onion today. What reason, Michael? Well, it's just a little bit sweeter. I thought it might might sort of go well with the uh, the fish and, of course, the fruit. The fruit yeah. and the garlic yeah. and the ginger. <laughs> very okay, thing. I reckon I've got enough colour. Can you put in the fish stock? Fish stock. And look at it's that, so look easy at that to make it. Uh, do you love that? Oh, very good. Thank I like the colour. Just put in. Fabulous. Not too much. You, you tell me. Going. I want to let the fish swim in tell it. Me, tell keep me. Keep going. Keep tell going. Me. That should do it, Mickey. Tell me. Now, can you also put in the, the fruits? Oh, I've missed doing this. Now, so what I've done good, is julienne the, yes. the fruit. I can. You see it. It's a bit sticky because well, isn't it fabulous to eat? Though? Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And you got colour. I want it to reduce just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now so I've got the curry powder. Yeah, put some curry powder in for me. Yeah, that should are. do it. And white wine. Yeah, this just, is yeah. a beauty. This is the uh, Eden Valley and Riesling. Some... Now, how much? Just a little bit, please. Beautiful. Thank you. Now, Mickey, that's thickened enough. I'm going to put the fish back in. Excuse me? Yes. Oh, can you? <laughs> if I do the work, yes. will you do the drinking? I will. No, just Nothing's a sip. Nothing's changed. Nothing's we just changed. need a sip. We've got to uh, Nothing's drink changed. responsibly. Yeah. Look. I think the tummy does give it colour. Mm. Salute. That's ready. That is eh? ready, Mickey. There we are. Look at that. Yeah. It held well. So there is Thanks, our Mark. ikambaka. Michael, this is a fantastic kingfish curry with some beautiful dried fruit. The one I've chosen to go with this is uh, our Thorn Eden Valley Riesling. Uh, Eden Valley Riesling. Arguably the, the best uh, Riesling area in the country. You might get a few arguments from the, the guys at Clare, but that's fine. Um, this, is a, this is a lovely, pristine, floral wine with beautiful citrus notes and just will work so beautifully with, with this curry. Um, it's sort of a match made in heaven, really, so um, excuse me while I, while I enjoy. After the break, I'm going to look for some vegetables to cook with a beautiful pasta. Don't miss it.
most of the early German settlers, when they came here to the Barossa, had a, a plot. Well, that plot, they probably had a cow and a horse, maybe a pig. Grew their own veggies, their own fruit trees. I mean, it would have been a, a great lifestyle, but it would have been pretty hard. But today, that tradition carries on. I mean, I'm here in Cherie's garden, and I'll tell you what, it's amazing. What, you can get in a... Hi, Cherie, how are you going? Hello, hello, hello. This is a fantastic garden. And it's raining on it, which is good. We don't complain about this. No. <laughs> we love the veggie garden. It, I mean, it feeds us. We eat out of this all year round. It's always a bit trickier in winter because you don't have as can I, much Can produce. I just stop you here? Look, this is rocket. Seriously. We, in Adelaide, we struggle to grow rocket. You it's know, gone wild. This is amazing. Oh, this is super rocket. I've uh, got kale here. Yep. This is the curly leaf kale. Yes. And it's very attractive, isn't it? It's beautiful. Um, this is the more famous Italian one, mm. Carvalho Nero. Nero, yep. So the, the, black one. the black Tuscan cabbage. Yep. That's enough. That's you great. Sure? All right. Plenty. Plenty. Do you want some curly cow? Yes, that'd right. be good, thank you. That's I wouldn't good. mind a cup of tea either if you just happen to have one floating around the joint. It is freezing out here today. This help. is a typical day in the Barossa, It's it? a typical day in the Barossa. <laughs> hey Michael, this is a kale uh, I got from... Excuse, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. I'd, I'd like to... We started direct... filming yet? Yes. Oh, yes we're on, we're on, we're on. I get carried away. Sorry about we're that. We're in the Mejak room and it's, it's conducive to drinking. <laughs> at Grant Burge, at, uh, to, uh, just at the back at of the At the back of the, off Crondorf Road. Crondorf Road, yeah, yeah. lovely spot. How are you, Mickey? I'm very well. Now, I picked a couple, couple of pieces of well, leaves, of, but what I've done with that, yes. I've taken the spine off, or the stem, yeah. really hard stem off, and, and I've just uh, got the, the, the man leaves that are remaining. Yes. Chop them up. How did you cook it? I right. didn't cook it. So Very what nice. I did, yes. blanched them for about five minutes, salt okay. and water, and chopped it up, and there you have it. Okay. So this is a, a sausage, me... sausage and kale penne. Penne. Now you may well ask, where's the sausage? Where is the sausage? Where is the sausage, Michael? Did not do it with a sausage. I did it with some beautiful. Well, you mentioned that. That's Steinies. It is fantastic. Do you know how to spell it? Yes, I do. Where you go? S T E I N Y apostrophe S. A tick and a star. Yes, I get five early minutes. <laughs> I don't wear the dunce hat in the corner anymore. Anyway, okay. Uh, so put I'll, that in. Put, I'm under with a bit of olive oil. Okay, then a little bit of um, bit of onion. All yeah, of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two thirds. Two thirds. Is that and two thirds? It, two, <laughs> two thirds. Now yeah. you notice one thing. Yes, I do. I, I haven't put the garlic in yet. I, you, I asked you earlier why. Yeah. Well, why, just why gonna, Michael, haven't you put the garlic well, in? Well, I want the garlic to be part of the finished dish uh, that you can actually taste it. Okay. Yes. Otherwise, you it loses you want, you all the volatile acids. Oil. There's our kale. Okay. You want to put the kale and in now? And rocket. Doesn't it look fabulous? It does. All right. Anyway, so I'd put that in. I, I thought you. Way. I thought I had to do it. Oh, sorry. There you are. It slips. I did it. So you're Thank doing it. It's good um, <laughs> uh, for something. So you've got that Oh, there. we've got a sizzle now. Oh, it's not bad. Got I think, sizzle. Michael, just a little bit of pepper. Yes, can I? There you are, a little That's bit it, of that. That's it, wonderful. Yep. All right, now, what do we other, do now? The other thing to do is uh, put the pen in. All right, in. could you How do much? that for me? I'll, I'll scoop it yeah, in. you do it. Don't use your hands. This is a we full pack in here. Center M, of course. I reckon that's about it. Okay, I'll give it a bit of a stir. Okay. Then we've got some chicken stock. Yes. Put a little bit. You make all your own stock, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you know how I do it? Very good. Onions, celery. Chicken. And ch chicken bone. Onions, celery, the same. Carrots. And yeah. I let, I let it go cut. until the bones dissolve and break up. Beautiful. All right. And there we are. So we've got flavours here like coriander. We've got rocket. We've yes. got kale. And uh, we'll add a few other things uh, as we go along the way. After the break, we're back with the results of this delicious recipe. Now, Michael, these have been going a few minutes, three, yes. four minutes, and it hasn't finished. Yeah, there's more? There's more. What about the garlic? Just as coming here. Thank you. See, I'm just putting See, that you on can't the top. help yourself. You've got to do these things. Look at that. Yeah, uh, okay. Now, this we're going to put this in. I love parmesan. parmesan. I love... Mix that in. Okay, I will. And the last, very last thing we do... Yeah. You know how I cook the penne beforehand? Yes. Well, I've reserved some of the uh, liquid, I've... which has got in it a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. not a lot, some uh, some of the starches exactly. from the pasta, and also a little bit of olive oil. I reckon, that's, I reckon that's about it. Okay, all right. Now, Michael, I, I can't 
to give you any more, but no, you've done well. there's one thing. Look at the cheese. The cheese is melting. Yes. There's one thing I would do if oh, I was what, home. What would that be, Michael? I, I, seriously, I'd put a little bit of chilli. Chilli, of course. Just a, even the perfume of chilli. So Michael, there you are. I my... think Michael's sponsored by the Chilli Gardens of Australia. <laughs>